Now, in case you would ever be wondering why we got Radisson, our rat, as a pet, well, here's one of the key reasons. Sure looks strange to me. Oh, you're going to love what we've got for you here this morning on uh, Creature Feature. Welcome back to Fox 45 Morning News. You know, almost every time we show you these great animals, Amy Eveleth brings them in. They say, no, 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 you don't want one of these as a pet. No way. This time, we've got an animal that the zoo says, hey, it's okay. You want it as a pet? It makes a great one. <laughs> right there. Amy, Amy, what, who is this? What are these and why are they good pets? That's thunder and they're just domesticated rats. That's it. I mean, I, I, got, I, I went fancy. from the head of that. I'm getting myself in trouble that last little bit of chat I had and now I'm, I'm, I'm holding a rat. It's, it's all right. They, it's won't, a, these they are, won't get anything from these, you. These are okay. Wait a bit. Now, uh, you usually see these like in traps in the alleyways and things. I just saw one on Utah Street, doesn't matter. <laughs> did, did you really? People usually yes. are like screaming and yelling. I noticed Harold and Jennifer have both left the studio I this don't morning. Know why? Why are, why are they, these people are so afraid of these? Do they have a bad reputation? They What's do. The story? They're like the snake. They suffer from bad PR. Rats are not bad. Rat, um, rats can, you know, spread disease, but everything can spread disease. The problem with rats is they're misunderstood. Why? They're great animals. A lot of kids get them for pets and you usually see the mall rats with them. You know, the kids in all black that show up in, you know, the mall Friday nights and Saturday nights, they have rats. Well, you know what? By the time they're done wearing all black, the rats have died. They only live for two years. Rats only live for two years? Two years. Okay. If you've got a rat that's living for three years, you better call Guinness because it just really? does not happen. Re usually, domesticated rats, they only live for about two years, and they're very good pets. They so if, if you really don't want to, you know, like, find one in the alley, can you get them off yeah. at a pet store? Or <laughs> can, how do you get a, where do you get a rat you for your You can get kids? them at a pet store. You can get them from a, believe it or not, a reputable breeder. And they don't give, you don't have to worry about getting, get, we're so paranoid in our country about getting some disease or something yeah. from them. I'm not going to have to like disinfect my hands after no, this here. No, no. I mean, as long as your cage is clean, your rat will be clean. They're mm -hmm. very clean animals. They spend a lot of time grooming themselves. And the reason that they do carry disease in the wild is because they live in alleys. They live in places where there's standing water, where there's a lot of bacteria, you know, there's a lot of viruses. But they don't do that in captivity. Isn't it said that uh, squirrels are really just rats with good press agents? Yes. Everyone says it's a squirrel with a fluffy tail, basically, because everyone says, oh, the squirrels are so sweet. I've raised baby squirrels. They're no fun. They're nasty. They bite. They're vicious. So are you telling me now that, that rats are better animals as far as domestication mm -hmm. goes than squirrels would oh be? Oh my goodness, yes. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, we had a squirrel and we raised it and it would climb up my head and chomp on me and it thought I was a tree and it was horrible. W would you think maybe that for, let's say, a, a small child, maybe a four or five year old, how's this for a hypothesis? <laughs> They're thinking of maybe say, Mom, Mom, I'd love to have a dog or a cat. Right. Maybe try out a rat and say, yes. if you can take good care of thunder or whatever right. you name your rat, Definitely. then maybe we'll go ahead and get a dog. So would that be a good idea? That is a very good idea. A lot of people get these dogs and cats that live, you know, 15, 17, 18 years. Right. And, and the children are uninterested after a year and they just can't handle them anymore. Right. But rats, you know, two years. You can't beat so it that's for a, a child's they pet. So that can't be too expensive, can oh, they? Oh, they're cheap. They're like 15 bucks. I mean, and it, but you need to buy them a nice cage because these mm -hmm. animals can chew through cinder block. They can chew, chew, chew through steel if they really want to. Now you were talking about how many different species of rats there are. How, well, first of all, what, what kind of species are these guys? These are domestic rats and there are uh, hundreds of different breeds of rats. Um, these are just domestic rats. They're you know, brought into domestication. Mm -hmm. You will only find these as a pet. You will not find these outside. Right. Um, there are over 1,000 different species, 1,082 as a matter of fact. Really? The species of mice and rats. How would they be decided of, of different sizes, coloration? Different sizes, coloration. Um, the thing that makes them a rodent is their dentition and are their teeth. Dentation? Yes. Okay, that's our word for today yes, from the creature that's feature, the dentation. Yes. Okay. So um, they, they have these large, continuously growing, incisors. Oh, so the teeth never stop growing? They never stop growing. Um, as a matter of fact, a friend of mine used to have a lot of rats for uh, projects right. at school, and he, I had to t teach him how to cut them because the oh, teeth would continuously wow. grow. They weren't lined up. If they had occlusion and they weren't lined up, then they could grow into the rats. Tough to get much uh, rat, rat orthodontia. It is. They don't make rat braces. It's really a problem. <laughs> so you have to take care of them yourself. Mm -hmm. But if, as long as you have stuff for them to, to chew on, like right. the we, rodent chow we have here is a very hard diet for them. Let it's, me really take a little bite of that and see how that Yeah, it's, it's really not bad. I mean, this is alfalfa base. Isn't it's it? alfalfa base. There's yeah. nothing in it. I'm getting I mean, familiar with this because it seems like a lot of the um, uh, herbivores and stuff they eat basically alfalfa based. They products. do. They eat they eat, um, mm. you know grass based products, and mm -hmm. there's nothing carnivorous. Well, about what do these guys eat? Because in the wild, you think of a rat eating being an omnivore and oh, eating they can anything. Eat anything. They can eat it's anything. It's the same thing with these guys. It's the same thing. People always ask us, you know, at the zoo, it, squirrels are like the rats at the zoo. Basically, mm -hmm. um, people are like, what do they eat? I'm like pizza, you know. Oh, 
and orange juice, mm -hmm. apple juice, anything that's in the trash cans. And rats can eat anything. Ideally, if you have them as a pet, mm -hmm. feed them the rodent chow, give them fruits and vegetables to mix it up a little bit. So you could, you could think of a rat, instead of being a nasty animal that runs yeah. around in the alleys, you can think of it maybe as being an introductory dog for it your family. It is an introductory dog. It is a great pet, and I just love them. I don't have one because I don't have time for them. I know you only have, what, yeah. 100 different animals I, you I take care of. I don't think that's it. But uh, people <laughs> love them, and kids and love them. And I must say, this is a pretty cool guy here. Yeah, and they're, they're really good for top programs, too, because mm -hmm. kids can pet them. They can't do anything to them. They but, don't. I was surprised because I was thinking, uh-oh, Raddy's going to bite me. He yeah, no bite no, at all. He's not chomping on you at no. all. He's pretty happy. You're like a big jungle gym. <laughs> but you might probably want to keep like large snakes away from rats. Definitely. And you don't want to handle a reptile after you've handled a mammal. Because, Wait, oh, tell me this again. This is interesting. Um, I was going to bring you a snake today, but I didn't bring a snake with the rats because the snakes eat rats. Oh. So I didn't want to bring lunch and then, you know, handle it afterwards. So, oh. yeah. I didn't. Hey, we're almost out of time, Amy. Yeah. This has been great. This has really <laughs> been interesting. But speaking of reptiles, the Reptile House yes. now finally open at the Yay, Baltimore Zoo. It's open again. So is that an additional charge? Um, <laughs> yes, it is an additional charge. It's either 50 cents or a dollar. Oh, dollar, nothing. And if you have membership, really of course, you can it's get out. And free. I must say, I hadn't been in it because it's been closed for so long yeah. until we went into Water it last weekend. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's small. But it is beautiful at the <laughs> at the reptile house at the Baltimore Zoo. And if you'd like to find out more about all the great animals mm -hmm. they have, the great creatures at the Baltimore Zoo, here's the phone number, 366-LION or www.baltimorezoo.org. You can probably call over if you've got more questions for Amy. Ask her about our great rat. Let me just hold my little buddy here. My little, and you can pick him up by the tail. That's cool. It's a great handle. A, a great handle to yeah, pick him you, up. You don't want to rodeo, you know, last right. or anything like that, but it's a great handle. There Super, Amy. <laughs> Next hour, what does summer have to do with kidney stones and Madonna Rama? It's coming up as we rock on with the final hour of Fox 45 Morning News. Don't you go away.